In our demonstration, we are showing you a model 480 safety. All safeties are preset and designed for specific application at Hollister Whitney. Safeties are furnished with a range of spring sizes and pressures to accommodate up to 20,000 pound capacity. Remember to always think safety first. Before performing any procedures, be certain that the power is turned off and the car and counterweight have been blocked to prevent any possible mishap. It's important to note when installing safeties that the rails are rust free and well maintained for the most efficient operation. Also, remember that safeties come in right and left hand arrangements. So be sure you install the correct block to the corresponding side with the governor. Before installing the safety blocks on a car, be sure that the car sling bottom channels are level and perpendicular to the face of the rail at 90 degree angles. Safeties are installed with four bolts that fasten the car sling bottom channels to the top of the safety blocks. The safety is designed to have 3 sixteenths of an inch clearance between the grips and the side of the rails. After both safety blocks are installed, install the connecting rod between the safety blocks. It has left and right hand threads for ease of adjusting the simultaneous operation of both safety blocks. Check to be sure that both sides are making contact with the rail by raising the safety arm. If the shoe did not make contact with the rail, make your adjustment by loosening the nut on both ends of the connecting rod and turning the rod. Once you have determined that both sides are making contact with the rail, you may tighten the lock nut against the yoke on the connecting rod on both ends. Adjust the governor assembly rod that extends from the releasing carrier which is spring loaded. Hollister Whitney furnishes the governor assembly rod in an approximate length but it must be cut to the exact length after it's been determined in the field. Simply bring the yoke down so you can slip a fastening pin through the yoke so the arm will not move. Then install a security clip through the fastening pin. Should a safety stop too fast or perhaps not fast enough, Check to be sure that the rails do not have too much lubricant on them, that they are clean and not rusty or worn. You can change the settings by adjusting the three lock bolts in one eighth of an inch increments on both safety blocks. Then secure the nuts and test again until the required stopping distance has been attained. Should you have any questions regarding the maintenance and adjustment procedures we have demonstrated in this video, contact Hollister Whitney Elevator Corporation.